Nathan Rooney replaces Phil Trainer, who is suspended and has a one-match ban. So Ryan Young, the former Nuneaton man in goal, in defence from right to left is Will Salmon, Liam Chilvers, Jordan Rose and Ryan Valentine. From right to left in midfield, Lou Cubbins, who was injured in the warm-up away at Nuneaton in September. Nathan Rooney, Richard Davis and Steve Leslie. And up front, Kieran Sentamy and Steve Jones. Both have five goals to their names. Well, it's it seems we played Nuneaton uh, quite a lot over the last few years, haven't we? Uh, the most recent result, that 3-1 defeat in September, and probably Telford's worst performance. Yeah, they've certainly been regular opponents, and it, it's uncanny as well how the cup draws have helped to, to throw the sides together. There was the, the playoff semi-final, perhaps most memorably, wasn't there, when Telford did get promoted to the Blue Square Bet Premier. And then the FA Trophy draw, let's not forget, paired these sides uh, together at Liberty Way last season. Telford winning on that occasion by two goals to nil. So perhaps no surprise, really, to see the two teams paired together again this time around. I do think that that will work in Telford's favour, that game uh, at the Eaton last September. Telford were awful on the night, I would quite agree. Their worst performance of the season by quite some way, and hopefully they'll use that as a spur towards a much better performance this afternoon. Well, let's hope history repeats itself this afternoon. Kick off for Nuneaton, Telford kicking from our left to right. It's a high ball. Here's Jordan Rose, who wins his first header. Walker loses control in the midfield for Nuneaton. Then the tackle there by Forstick sends the ball all the way back into the hands of the Telford goalie Ryan Young. Young who's got a very bright top on, bright yellow, up down the right wing towards Luke Hubbins who keeps it in play here. Quick ball inside to the channel to Steve Jones. Here's John Adams on the right corner of the Telford area. One of the former Bucks players up against Ryan Valentine. He closes him down quickly. Back in by Dean, bounces awkwardly, a chance here for Nuneaton! Oh, terrible start here for Telford. Dream start for Tyrell Waite. He only joined yesterday on loan from Notts County with his first touch for Nuneaton. He has scored. Terrible mistake by Telford. An aerial ball not dealt with in defence. Nuneaton have taken the lead inside two minutes. And Forstick's clearance is a poor one. Scrappy start from Nuneaton, but they have that goal. Leslie on to centre me forward to Rooney on the edge of a D Telford pushing Kai as a unit and now 20 yards away from goal have a free kick to the right of the ball is Leslie to the left is Steve Jones I think it's shaped up for Jones Jones goes for it goal screamer from Steve Jones four in three for the former Burnley man superb free kick Already we have goals in this game, it's one all, and we've only had seven and a half minutes gone. Nice Thanks. ball by Davis down the right, here's Steve Jones, takes it to the dead ball line, looks to get past Dean, he appeals for a penalty, he's not going to get one, it's going to be a goal kick. It's just the way that jo Jones made the run down the right, then cut in on the left, and in the way he, he brought himself down, didn't he, against the defender. For me, it's just crying out for the central midfielders to win this game for Telford. They win their battles, Telford go on and win it. Here's Jones, steaming ahead from left to right, goes for goal, takes a deflection, narrowly wide, only inches past McNamara's right-hand post. Another good run by Jones, a reminder that he is Telford's danger man. Still, Telford won, Nuneaton won. A couple of seconds into this second half then. One all is the score at the Bucks head between Telford and Nuneaton. No changes for either side at half time. Live here on BBC Radio Shropshire, it's the magic of the FA Cup. Uh, with me, Nick Southall and Steve Humbles alongside me. In this second half, Telford are kicking from our right to left. They are missing Phil Trainer. He provides the rallying uh, calls normally. Good one two between Davis and Jones. Davis finds Sharp on the right edge of the Nuneaton penalty area. Sharp looks to shoot. Uh, now here's Davis. Spray! Good save by Matt Namara. Fingertip save. The former Wolves man nearly doubling the scoreline to make it top of two Nuneaton one. 
kept in by Wes York on the left wing, taking Vermont. Rose needs to stay on his feet here. York back to Sleeth. Forsdick down there as well. Here is Forsdick into the area. Listen in. Good ball to the back post. And it's gone straight in. Oh, dear, dear, dear. What's happened here? Nuneaton have scored. It's Danny Sleeth. We thought it was a cross. Somehow it's crept into the top left hand corner. And Telford's recent poor run in the FA Cup looks like it's going to continue. Nuneaton taking the lead after two minutes. Telford equalising through Jones after eight. But then Nuneaton, after 83 minutes, with a freak goal, getting a second. Here's a foul inside the area. Jordan Rose has gone. Red card, two yellow cards. Jordan Rose has been sent off here at the Buck's head. Kicking the ball away, I think it was Steve again. Well, the referee had blown for a foul. He'd given a push against uh, a Telford player in the penalty area. I think Jordan Rose took exception to it. He would probably claim that he perhaps didn't hear the whistle or that he was already in the motion of kicking the ball. But after what had happened only 10 minutes ago, where we did call out on commentary, Nick, that Jordan Rose, we, we saw him kick the ball away after a decision had been given by the referee. He got a let off on that occasion. You have to say that sums up Telford's afternoon. Count heads it away. Here's Valentine. One last chance, back in again. Look for Jones! Goal! Goal for Telford! Oh, would you believe it, Steve? We've got to our feet. How have they managed to get something from this game? It's 2 all. Telford still in the FA Cup. Well, I'm not even sure what happens. What an awful goal for the Neaton to give away. I think it was Valentine's goal. I don't think anyone got a touch on it. The goalkeeper was standing there waiting for somebody to get it. He missed it, went through his legs, into the net. What can you say? Oh, I'm left scratching my head here, Steve. It's full time. It goes to a replay at Neaton on Tuesday night. Well, we are shell-shocked. We, we do not know what to say, but it has finished two-all here.